the one thing that helps to keep our blood sugar level steady? Sorry? Carbohydrates, that's right. Complex carbohydrates. What are complex carbohydrates? It helps to, complex carbohydrates, like Nancy says, it keeps your blood sugar level even so that it doesn't go up and down, but keeps it more even for a long period of time. What is a complex carbohydrate anyways? A bunch of glucose molecules stuck together. Exactly. What it is, is a bunch of glucose molecules stuck together, glucose sugar molecules, many sugar molecules linked together to form a long macromolecule that is then called a complex carbohydrate. So, and because there is many glucose molecules, and of course they are not only in one line, but they are, you know, adjusted in, in many ways, but many glucose molecules linked together, that means in the process of digestion, it takes a long time to slowly break off one glucose molecule, one sugar molecule at a time, and this slow breaking down of the sugar molecules means also slower absorption into the system and you know over time slow absorption means it keeps our blood sugar level relatively even unlike let's say you're eating a candy bar which is full with simple sugars simple glucose or singular glucose molecules which then you know get absorbed into the system all at once that means it raises our blood sugar level and then of course on the other side our blood sugar level drops, right? As long as our blood sugar level raises, life is wonderful. On the other side of the <laughs> mountain, so to speak, then life is not so fun anymore and we feel aggravated and frustrated and uh, sad or depressed or whatever. But so, complex carbohydrates from grains help to keep our blood sugar level steady which is also considered the glycemic index. Have you heard of the glycemic index? The glycemic index is a way to mm, check or a way to uh, assess the healthfulness of a food by um, what they do is they um, ingest 100 calories of food and then they check the blood sugar level over a period of between two and four hours and if the glycemic index, if the blood sugar level really rises a lot, the glycemic index is very high. If the blood sugar level rises not so much, then the glycemic index is low and they have found that foods in their whole form, unrefined, generally have a low glycemic index versus, let's say, refined flour products or, let's say, noodles from white flour, which have a very high glycemic index or simple sugar foods also, very high glycemic index. Unfortunately, you can get a high glycemic index not only by making foods like grains into whole grains into flour, but even when you're making, let me see, brown rice into white rice. The glycemic index of white rice is close to the glycemic index of sugar meaning it gets absorbed into the system pretty quickly. Why is that? The glycemic index of white rice versus the glycemic index of brown rice. Now here we have a grain, right? A grain of brown rice, short grain brown rice. And when we are taking the whole grain, then we have on the outside, oh, the heat is on. It's warm here. <laughs> um, then we have about seven layers of skin and of course the germ is right over here. So the germ here and then seven layers of skin where most of the fiber, most of the minerals and nutrients and antioxidants are. So in all of this we have most nutrients. When we are making white rice, what happens? We strip all of this away, including the germ. Now what is the germ to 
the grain. That's the embryo, right? <laughs> this is the placenta. This is the embryo. When we're making white rice, we're throwing out the embryo with, <laughs> with everything. <laughs> and the life-giving force is gone because this is what makes it sprout again. Without that, no sprouting. White rice can't sprout. Now, what do we have in the center of the grain here? What is the white rice, basically? It's the sugar, it's the, it's the carbohydrates, but no more fiber, no more nutrients, no more minerals, no more vitamins, no fiber, no antioxidants, or hardly any. So that means, even though it is still somewhat, it is still complex carbohydrates, but all the other substances are gone, which are also diluting and slowing down the absorption of the sugars into the system, and then that means the glycemic index, the absorption of the sugars into the system goes much more quickly. And then you also have that rise of the blood sugar level and the lowering of the blood sugar level. And that, of course, has to do with insulin and glucagon. And we'll not get into this right now, but um, that is something we'll talk about at some point. So brown rice, the whole thing, white rice, just the center and we've ba basically lost the baby in the process. <laughs> so, not so helpful. And we have, of course, long, short grain brown rice, we have medium grain brown rice, we have long grain brown rice, and then there is a kind of rice that is called sweet rice. Sweet rice is a short grain brown rice that is more glutinous, meaning it has more fat and more specific kind of proteins and um, can be, it's misleading that it's called sweet rice, it's really not sweet, but it lends itself well to make sweet like desserts like rice pudding or something with it. But it's not, it's not sweet by itself. Now,